here is a case of uh, thulium fiber laser enucleation of the prostate while doing this left ureteric orifice injury has happened uh, this uh, surgery predominantly focusing on the enucleation at the end when we are doing at the bladder neck region uh, this is 1 joule 40 hertz enucleation like uh, other, any other enucleation inverted lambda incision at the uh, veru level is given on either side of the grooves after that the incision uh, extended to the anteriorly and then this is the capsule at the 12 o'clock position we developed plane retropubically and continuously gone this is coming from above down continuously gone and entered into the bladder now we are sweeping while sweeping this we have gone close to the bladder neck and uh, tried to be perfectionist removing the entire um, the lobe almost removing all the bladder neck during this process we fill the bladder and see in the bladder but in this case uh, repeatedly we have not inspected inside the bladder that resulted in uh, very closely going to the ureteric orifices and uh, this is the 6 o'clock position so reasonably the surgery went well except on the right side a little bit of plane was lost otherwise uh, the from the bladder neck see here from the bladder neck uh, inverted uh, uh, or hockey incision is given but we were not seeing into the bladder we were continuously playing at the base only reverse and front like this so this is the base at the bladder neck region when when we were finishing we might have gone into the bladder at this stage and saw the orifice and then might have been kept away from that even we did not realize that uh, we were close to the uh, trigone and lifted this happened because that's what we wanted to share in the video we were almost on the uh, capsule during the entire surgery but only problem is we were very closely removing the bladder neck region all the prostate during that process the prostate was hanging uh, into the lumen of the bladder at, see this is the area of the bladder neck now very closely coming at the six o'clock position see we are just um, taking out the edge like this and at the end see here we were tracing the mucosa like this see here instead of cl becoming close to the gland we have gone close to the mucosa and uh, we unknowingly went into the uh, trigone so now this is the first time we are seeing like this the right side orifice fortunately is just escaped like this with mucosal this thing whereas left side orifice I could not see for some time the trigonal mucosa is seen here it is flat to the bladder because of the distension of the bladder too much I had been collapsed blood madam better see now here this is the orifice which is looking like a nodule out of which center this is the ureteric orifice some amount of coagulation after that we have done enucleation we thought we will put a uh, ureteric uh, uh, catheter uh, because the bleeding was not much ureteric catheter and uh, uh, the guide wire we wanted to pass but i could not pass any guide wire at ureteric catheter because it was little retracted see here orifice is identified every time peristalsis was coming but uh, maybe mucosal flap has not allowed the smallest guide wire also into the ureter after two three attempts uh, we have abandoned we wanted to follow up this case carefully in case if any uh, stenosis forms our idea is that anti-grade stenting or balloon dilatation of the ureteric orifice and the last option uh, one should keep in mind ureteric implantation also but unlikely because post-operatively surprising this patient did not have any incontinence uh, did not have any line pain did not have any ultrasound hydronephrosis so we wanted to watch carefully every month we wanted to do ultrasound and then follow him up. Thank you.